Someone who serves in war comes back with hidden scars. Post-traumatic stress disorder, depression. To me, it's important to call them wounds because there are no less injuries than losing an eye or losing an arm or losing a leg. Six years ago, my husband and I were walking on the beach in Santa Monica. I saw hundreds of crosses in the sand. These were crosses that were for the people who had died in Iraq, Afghanistan. We both started to cry. And that activated me to not just feel something, but to do something about it. At the Soldiers Project, we provide free, unlimited psychological services to those who've served their extended family and their loved ones. The fact that the Soldiers Project is completely confidential is critical because of the enormity of the stigma that's attached to getting mental health services. I served in the Marine Corps. I did three tours. I saw a lot of combat. In the beginning, I actually seek counseling through the VA, but they were just so overwhelmed with the men and women coming back, they didn't really know what to do, and it felt like um, some of us vets uh, kind of fell through the cracks. California is the state with the highest number of returning Iraq Afghanistan veterans. We are seeing more and more domestic violence. We're seeing more and more divorces and unfortunately greater numbers of suicides. It was really tough coming back to society and trying to be normal. Everything had changed. I didn't really know who was who and what was what. There was a lot of things that weren't going on. A lot of depression, a lot of dark moments, a lot of uh, flashbacks. Soldiers Project has been very helpful to me. I don't know where I would be right now if I didn't seek the help that I needed. The only way that it's possible for us to do this is that we have hundreds of volunteer mental health professionals providing services to our returning veterans and their families makes a big difference.